The Surgical Services Department at Royal Victoria Hospital is an integral part of this state-of-the-art regional health center. 30 surgeons and a highly skilled, dedicated staff keep the eight operating rooms and four endoscopy suites very busy. From tonsils to toes, it's a first-class facility for this growing community. On the day of your surgery, arrive at the hospital two hours before your operation. Please leave all valuables and jewelry at home. You'll enter through the main doors, which are actually on the second floor, and from there, it's a short walk to surgical services. Today, Phil is having arthroscopic surgery on his right knee. May I have your health card, please? Thank you. Okay, Mr. Smith, may I have your date of birth, please? 16th of July, 1968. Shanty Bay. The first step is to register with the admitting clerk. You must have your health card with you in order to proceed. After all your personal information has been taken, have a seat in the waiting room until your name is called. One week earlier, you would have been at the pre-admission clinic. For this visit, you enter on the lower level of the hospital. The usual checks will be done on your health status to make sure you are fit for an operation. You will also receive educational information about your surgery and meet with the anesthesiologist. If you are to stay overnight, the Quality Utilization Management Program Case Manager will ensure plans for your care and discharge are organized. Be sure to read and keep the surgery information pamphlets you receive here. Okay, so you can relax. Just turn this way. I'll get you to grab this bar above your head. Both hands. Good. Well, nice and still there. Some patients will have x-rays taken at this time. Okay. Other procedures like an echocardiogram may also be ordered as part of the pre-admission visit. Philip Smith? Okay, Phil, I've got your gown here for you yep. to put on. And... This one is your house coat. Back to the day of your surgery. You are now given a hospital gown to wear and a bag to put your clothing in. This will be kept in a safe place for you. Okay. And I'm just going to get you to come into the change area over here and get changed. Okay. Oh, Phil, you got to take that jewelry off. And you also, you have your gown on backwards. I was wondering what was with a gown that opens at the front. Hospital gowns are designed specifically to allow you to keep your modesty cover your assets, and then hospital staff can get easy access. We're going to start by getting a weight fill, so if I could get you to step up on the scale. Perfect. In the admissions area, your vital signs will be taken again. It's very important that the doctors and nurses have this information as you get closer to your procedure. It doesn't take long. The details of your surgery will be explained again here to confirm you understand everything. You'll be asked to sign a consent form for the surgery. Helping you understand and deal with the pain after surgery is the pain management nurse. Pain management is key to a smooth recovery. No two people experience pain in the same manner. Too much pain will hamper your recovery. The pain management goal is you need to be able to take a big breath, cough, move with minimal discomfort or have your pain score less than 3 out of 10. All right, Phil, I'll let you just take a seat in the waiting room. They'll call you from here when it's time for your operation. Okay. If you're Another waiting room, but your significant other can also wait here until you are called. The surgery program at Royal Victoria Hospital services over 22,000 surgeries a year. 80% of those patients go home the very same day. Mr. Smith, may I just see your embrace right there? Thank you. Are you allergic to anything that you know of? No. Anything to eat or drink since last night? No. Okay. Now you are in the last waiting room before your surgery. And the anesthesiologist and an operating room nurse will go through some final details and questions with you. Allergies? No. Do you take any medications? And when was the last time you had anything to eat or drink? 10 o'clock last night. What's with all the questions? I already answered them all before. 
You're going to be asked a lot of the same questions from different people. The reason for that is, is we do check you in at different times and different people need different information. And sometimes the way we ask you the questions will spark a memory of something that might not have come out in previous interviews. And this way you're assured as well that everybody has the same information. Once inside the operating room, you'll see a number of nursing and medical specialists preparing for the surgery. The anesthesiologist will make sure you're comfortable and explain what's going on. Okay, now I'm going to give you a little bit of medication that's going to make your head feel funny and relax you, but not get you off to sleep just yet. I hope I don't wake up in the middle of all this. Being awake under an anesthetic is a concern every patient has who is about to experience a general anesthetic. I can reassure you that at Royal Victoria Hospital you will be monitored and cared for by qualified anesthetists, that you won't experience recall or be aware of any pain or sensation while you're under a general anesthetic. So Mona's going to hold the mask and I'm going to give you some medication in your intravenous that's going to make you fall asleep. Just takes a few seconds. You can think about somewhere nice that you'd rather be, like a beach. After you go to sleep, the surgeon and nurses prepare the area and get started immediately. Patient care is priority one, and the staff all agree RVH Surgical Services is second to none. Here at Royal Victoria Hospital, we perform thousands of different operations each year. We have an exceptional staff here in the operating room, from our nurses to the anesthetists, to our support staff, to the surgeons performing the procedure. And although we do perform a number of different operations, each patient is treated as an individual with a little extra TLC. Discharge is usually two to four hours after your surgery, but you must not drive yourself home or take a taxi unaccompanied. Most operations don't take long, and before you know it, it's over. You'll wake up in the post-anesthetic care unit phase one, the first area of recovery. A staff of highly skilled registered nurses will monitor you very carefully. Then they'll gently bring you out of your slumber and ensure your pain is well managed. Hi, Phil. You're doing great, okay? My name's Karen. You're in the recovery room. You're just waking up, okay? I'm just going to go and have a peek at your dressing, okay? I don't really feel like waking up right now. It's normal to feel a little bit sleepy when you're waking up from an anesthetic. The medications will start to wear off and taking a couple of big deep breaths of the oxygen help that feeling to wear off quicker. Once you're fully awake, you'll be moved to the post-anesthetic care unit phase two, the final recovery area, where you will be prepared to go home. Whoever is taking you home will receive important information regarding your condition and your care. This person is required to stay with you overnight. He does have a prescription for Tylenol 3, and there's 40 of them, and he can take them every three to four hours. You can just okay. sign here at the bottom of the sheet. After your release form is signed, you are almost ready to go home. If you're staying at the hospital, you will be admitted and continue under the excellent care of the RVH staff for a while longer. The Nutrition and Food Service Department provide nutritious food to aid in a speedy recovery. The food is prepared in our kitchen, and the meals provided to you are based on the information you gave us during your admittance. Food is delivered by our staff. Please address any concerns to them. Registered dietitians provide counseling and education as requested by the doctor. If you are referred to physiotherapy after your surgery, you will see a physiotherapist and a rehabilitation assistant to help you regain your strength. Our goal is to help you to regain your maximum mobility. Phil is on his way home. For your surgery day, please note these reminders. No alcohol for 24 hours before surgery. No food or water after midnight the night before. Remove all makeup, nail polish and jewelry. Have a bath or shower. 
and bring your health card. And remember, you'll be in good hands at Royal Victoria Hospital.